Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post the videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a two-month book haul. Yeah, I said two months, okay? Two months worth of books. I have quite a lot, quite a lot. Yeah, so this is going to be, I believe, March and April. Because I think I did February already. Hopefully I did February. If not, oops. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, sorry, it spilled. But um, I have my coffee here. This is going to be my Starbucks, uh, what is it? The Toasted White Chocolate Frappuccino. Um, I have some French Vanilla Creamer with some sugar, of course. A dash of lavender. And it's inside my Dunkin' Donuts cup, I know. Just a little weird. And then I, I, I switched my straw. But this is the book haul. Before I begin, I do want to share something. So, I am one of those people who always said that I would not join the hype with a certain game. And I fell into a rabbit hole with that hype. And so, as an early birthday gift, I got a Switch. Now, the thing with this is I didn't want this one. This one is the turquoise. Um, I really wanted the coral, which is like a pinky coral color, but they didn't have any in stock. And um, only two GameStops where I live in Jersey are open right now. Um, and the one that I had called, they only had this in stock. They only had two in stock. So I was gifted this for my birthday. My birthday is not till June, so it's early. It's an early birthday gift, but I'm super, super excited. And um, I did download some games. I went down the rabbit hole with Animal Crossing. <laughs> so I play Animal Crossing with my son. I play it um by myself it's i'm down the rabbit hole I've, I've of course downloaded other games for like i'm a big kid okay you guys big kid i actually got my son's game in here right now spyro if y'all know what spyro is a little purple dragon yeah he also has crash bandicoot and um bandicoot or is it bandicoot um, he has crash um he has kirby and lots of mario games so um i just really wanted animal crossing which i did pay for prior to and i was playing on his switch but um, I really wanted my own, so I got the Switch Lite and Turquoise. And um, yeah, you guys can see my window and everything. Oh, well. But um, I love it so much. Um, I don't care for the color. I will be switching it up and making mine more lavenderish because you guys know my color is lavender. Um, so I will be adding to it, making it more lavender and pinky and pastel-y and girly. But um, I'm excited to have one. And yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, it was an early birthday gift. And I'm, I'm like excited that I have it. So yeah. But... Because, so I don't even know what I want to start with. Do I want to start off with my fictions? Do I not? No. Nah. Alright, I'm going to start off with the children's items and the, the DVDs I got. And then I'm going to move on to my fiction books and then non-fiction after. So I only got two, um, Christ like, two children's books. The first one is this one. It's The Way to the Savior, a family Easter devotional by Jeff and Abby Lands. And uh, I love the art on this. I, there's something about children's books that, like, make me happy. Um, and especially now that I'm starting to help around with the children's ministry at my church as well as the youth and teens, um, I'm excited to be building my library up even more so not just for my son but for myself and for my future kids. I do hopefully can have, I pray that I can have kids in the future. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. It's really cute. I love it. It's just a short devotional. I like the illustrations in here. They're really nice. Um, and yeah, they're, they're really nice. So, we have that. Um, following that, I have this. Now, my son has the other one. I can't remember what it was called. But it's the same sort of idea. It was just red. Um, this one is the coloring devotional. So, this is like a devotional coloring book for kids. Um, personally, I would enjoy it for myself. My son did do three things in here if I can find them. And the reason why I say it's more so for adults is because it really looks like an adult coloring book. Like, if you can see... It looks like an adult coloring book, so my son probably will color in some of this, but I'll probably have more fun. Like, this one here, this is cute. The little iPhone is so cute. Um, this one, oh my god, it's so cute. So, like, they're super cute. I'm trying to find the ones that my son did. So, even though it says, like, for children, I might use it for myself. I'm just saying, is it even this book or is it the other book? I'm getting them confused now.
Okay, I think I got the books confused. So this is not the book. I'm going to actually switch it and go get the correct one. Okay, so the correct one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is this one, the Big Little Activity Devotional. So it does get confusing. There's a coloring devotional and the activity one. So this one he got, I think, last month um, back in March. This was the April one. Um, and he has done some things. But again, yeah, this one is more so you filling in the blanks and things like that. So he did do three items in here. But I'll show you like the picture he colored. But this one has more like mazes and things like that. Oh, he's colored four actually. Okay. So here's the first one he did. It tells you what colors to use. And then here is the other one he did. Okay. So like my son does enjoy these and I do use them with him. So that is that. So moving on to DVDs. So I have five DVDs here. One of these, I'm not sure if I hauled this or not. Can't remember. So I'm just going to rehaul it. Um, if I did. And it's Praying with Jesus by James Bank. I enjoy James Bank. Um, he has a book called Praying the Bible or something like that. I'll put the title on screen, the correct one. But he has that book. Um, and oh, it's, it's Praying the Prayers of the Bible. That's what it's called. <laughs> and um, this one is just, you know, your relationship with God through prayer. Um, it's six sessions. It's Abba Father, Declaring Dependence, Praying the Prayers of the Bible, Sit, Stay, and Pray, Giving the Gift of Prayer, and Praying with Jesus. They're about 10-15 minutes each, um, and I think they're awesome, so I'm going to be watching those soon. It's still wrapped up. Then I have this, which is the Jewish Roots of Christianity. Honestly, it sounded interesting, so I got it. Um, they're 75 minutes total. It's three-part series, which is like 25 minutes each program. Um, and it's from, oh, it's from Moody Bible Institute. Awesome. Okay, and I work with Moody Bible um, Publishing, so I do know about their institute. I did actually look into going to their college um, online. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting to check out. So, I'm excited for this. And then I got the Holy Land um, broken into three parts. I think it's only three parts. Yeah, it's three parts. So, I have Region 1. This was from October 2019 yeah okay october 2019 i have part two which was from december 2019 and then part three which was february 2020 so um i'm a part of their uh media club i sign up for their little booklets and things like that so i definitely would say if you sign up for the our daily bread devotional when they send those devotionals to you quarterly always fill out those little envelopes and cards that they send because they send you free books free calendars free journals and free bible studies and stuff and i my collection is insane coming soon but um we have that so i am not going to dive in i'm trying to figure this out but we're gonna work it out so i'm gonna start with my fictional books um okay so i have two classics okay and if you guys don't know i enjoy classics i'm not a super major fan of them but i like classics um more so shakespeare's uh jane austen charlotte bronte and all that stuff because that's stuff i had to read in high school and then i read it in college and it just grew on me so i loved it of course i've watched movie adaptations and things like that so um i definitely want to get back into reading classics a lot more um i definitely want to expand my classical uh i guess reading beyond the basic classics if that makes sense um but so i have two so this first one i got back in march and um it's sense and sensibility by jane austen but it has a guide to reading and reflecting by karen swallow prior so this woman karen swallow prior you can follow her on instagram um she is currently right going through a series of classics and she's breaking them down with a christian point of view because a lot of these authors are christians like jane austen i know she was christian um so i think that's awesome she's going to be working on the scarlet letter Frankenstein and there is another one I can't remember but she only has two out right now with everything going on with COVID um I think she's still working on the others still but um yeah I have Sense and Sensibility I love this edition it's so cute I have another copy of Jane I have a Jane Austen bind up which is pink and I think this is so cute that it has Sense and Sensibility so it is gray um cloth with this silver foiling on it it is so amazing um it does come with a bookmark ribbon which I think is stunning here is what the end pages look like um, and what I like is that she gives you a note. So she gives a note to the reader. She also does an introduction to the story as a whole. So who the author is, the writing of the story, her thought process, the form of the work, um, the themes of the story. Um, and then as you get into the story, so she starts off with volume one, chapter one. Um, she'll give you little footnotes at the bottom to help you understand words from back then. 
So Sussex, I, like, you know, they say settled in Sussex. Well, what is it? I know it's, you know, a place in England, but where? So she explains that. Um, a housekeeper, she breaks that word down. She really does, like, give you some information at the bottom. There are also, after certain parts, if I can find one, yeah. So after, like, the first 192 pages, she then goes and gives you um, reflection questions. And it's just questions to really think about the story, um, respond to the story, and then you go into the rest of the story, which I think is awesome. So we have Sense and Sensibility. I know I just rambled on, but I love this. Cannot wait for her to come out with the others so that I can own them all. I did get this through B&H Blogger, the review program. Um, a lot of you have asked me how to get free books. The only program I know right now that is still doing free books is Baker Books um, and Bethany House, as well as b and bloggers but you do need you they require you to have a blog um and i'm going to do a whole series on how to make a blog um, i'm actually going to probably make it into like a giveaway where i create a blog for someone um and i i, I create it and then you can do the content if that makes sense i'm working on a whole idea on that but um sense and sensibility it is not christian related but it's christian related because it's a christian author so yeah we have that um and then following that with the same series she has the second one out which is heart of darkness by joseph conrad and it looks like this is a really small classic i've never heard anything about this author until i went on youtube and saw this um i looked it up and a lot of people gave it great reviews said it was really really impactful so i got it and um this one is blue navy blue with green blue bookmark um and the same sort of setup where you get the introduction the questions and things like that um so yeah i'm excited for her to come up with the other ones i own a copy of mary shelley's frankenstein already i've read the scarlet letter before and there's another one that's not on here but as i said there's only two currently out which are these two but um jane Eyre, that's the other one she's coming out with jane Eyre, which i'm so excited for i hope one of them is like pink just saying throwing it out there into the atmosphere you know holy spirit throwing it out there but um okay so moving on we're gonna go into my Biblical fiction. So I only have three biblical fiction books. Three biblical fiction books and two of them I've read. So I got a another copy of Land of Silence from Tessa Afshaw. I was a part of her Daughter of Rome um, launch team. So being a part of that, we were able to get one of her previous books and I got Land of Silence. I loved it. Five Star Read, of course. This I'm going to include in a book giveaway. I'm working on a giveaway where I have some of my favorites. I apologize if you guys can hear the screaming outside. But yeah, there's someone screaming outside. I apologize. But um, yeah, so I've read this. I loved it. It's going to be in a giveaway where I'm giving away some of my favorite uh, biblical Christian fiction books. And this is definitely going to be in that giveaway. This book is basically the story of the woman with the issue of blood. It is heartbreaking. It is heart-wrenching. And it is gloriously written. Loved it so much. Following that, we have another copy of Light Flames in the Night. I think I've gotten like three copies of these already. Don't need this. This is not my annotated copy. So I did get another one. This is the fourth and final book in the Cities of refuge series by connie link set i loved it so much it is amazing it does a fabulous job of wrapping up the series i'm working on actually getting copies of the full series to give away because this is epic to me i love it so much but um yeah we have that five star of course but loved it last one i got from um the delilah box for april yeah and it's daughter of cana by um angela hunt and i'm super super excited this is her newest release and um it's the story of thomas and his twin if he would have had a twin sister and it takes place it starts off at the uh wedding in cana when jesus turned water to wine and i'm super super excited for this and i am loving this cover this cover is everything to me like everything so we have that all right, moving on to Christian fantasy. I okay, so accidentally my mother purchased this by accident. So I put it in her cart on Amazon, um, because she has Amazon Prime, and I planned on making a huge order from Amazon soon. But um, she it was in her cart and she purchased it by accident. So I do have to give her the money back for this. But I'm super super excited to have it now, and that is great. By Morgan Albusi, the third and final book in the Ravenwood saga. <sighs> I have read this already. I read the e arc back in December. You can click the eye to go watch my reading blog. Um, this book came out this year, of course, and I loved it. Five stars. Um, I finally have a physical copy, and you guys cannot tell me that this does not look satisfying. Just look at it, and I love how the spines tell a story. Like, it's a flow. Okay it flows so if you guys don't know what that is um the first book is uh the mark of the raven loved it the second book is going to be the flight of the raven and then you have cry of the raven and it's basically a christian fantasy novel i highly recommend this it's 
this is mind blowing okay it is literally it, it it has set the the bar high for me when it comes to christian fantasy because it's definitely a fantasy you get that magical world you get the magical abilities the um fantasy fantastical aspects the creatures you get all of that but at the same time you get bits and pieces of the bible written into it which really formulates such a phenomenal world this is geared towards young adults i would say is more so new adult because i believe the characters are 18 and i think um grand lord damien is a little older but uh it's it's beautiful it deals with the elements and i i loved it i love the writing you guys can't tell from my tabs like i have a reading blog for the first for the third one already click the eye like i said and i if you're looking for christian fantasy or want to get into christian fantasy highly recommend this trilogy um i have a trilogy review coming soon but hands down by far my number one christian fantasy author right now hands down okay so then moving on we have one romantic suspense i just actually got this in a mail <laughs> um and it's from where did i get this from revel excuse me and this is stand off by patricia bradley it's the first book in the hatches trace park rangers romantic suspense don't know anything about it it sounded interesting the cover looks cute you guys know i'm trying to grow in that area of romantic suspense so i just requested it didn't know much about it don't even know who this author is honestly um but it says an explosive start to a brand new series the is that an n the natchez trace national parkway stretches 444 miles from nashville to natchez i think that's how you say that um the oldest town on the mississippi river it's the perfect road for a relaxed pleasure drive unfortunately for luke fairday it's also perfect for moving drugs Ooh, so you have a drug lord in this all right okay Sent to Natchez to infiltrate the organization at the center of the drug ring, Luke arrives too late to a stakeout and discovers the body of his friend, park ranger John Danvers Awe. John's daughter, Brooke, is determined to investigate her father's murder, but soon finds herself the target of a killer who will do anything to silence her. Luke will have his hands full, keeping her safe, but who's going to keep him safe when he realizes he's falling hard for the daughter of the man he failed to save? Wow. So, it says action, romance, and page turning. I'm hoping that there, there's not a huge age gap between um brooke and luke i just i don't like when there's a huge age gap like i don't like that like he could be in his 30s she could be in his 20s like uh, she could be in her 20s like but she can't be in her 20s and he'd be like in his 40s now there's nothing wrong with that okay but when it comes to fictional books for some reason in my mind i get weird visuals and it just doesn't work okay um in real life be with who you want to be with but in fictional books for some reason mentally it throws me off but um it sounds action pad so i'm excited i this i'm excited for i'm really excited so i'm not gonna be able to read it this month of course i actually have to read it this month right for a blog tour <laughs> so i have to read it this month for a blog tour so this will be thrown onto my tbr fingers crossed but um next we have contemporaries so i have three contemporaries okay this first one is the joy of falling by lindsay harrell um this basically is a story of two wives who lost their thrill-seeking husbands through a scuba diving accident and um they basically are dealing with the grief they then enter into a running marathon i believe and in that they meet one guy who's a friend of one of the husbands and another guy that one of the other wives like and i'm assuming it's just them coming back to the realization of loving again and dealing with their loss of your husband it sounds like it's gonna be sweet i'm loving the colors on this book really like summer fun sunset vibe. i'm loving it beachy vibes is what i'm getting so i'm excited to dive into this then we have this which is called before i called you mine by nicole dc i think this is out already i was supposed to read this and i'm so terrible that i haven't read it yet i was a part of the launch team for this i'm still gonna put this on my tbr but um this deals with adoption um i think one of the characters is not american but um it deals with a woman named lauren and a guy named joshua and um it's a romance and adoption that's all i know i did receive two copies of this book this is backwards i did receive two copies of this book this book is mine of course it has the actual like letter from the author and stuff like that for the black tour it also came with a little red thread bracelet um that has to do with adoption but i don't know where mine is sadly but um yeah we have that and like i said i have a second copy which will be thrown into a giveaway soon um then i have this one which i'm super excited about now the sad thing is i own a physical copy of one of her books already and then own the other books on ebook but i haven't read them yet 
yeah um this is stay with me by becky wade i believe this is the first book in the misty river misty yeah misty river romance um and i think it's a second chance type of romance um it says there is a bible study author named genevieve woodward woodward and then there's a guy named santana who's the owner of a historic farm there's um some type of shame or secret she tries to keep hidden but he uncovers it and um yeah it talks about career success and peace of mind and uh yeah it sounds like it's gonna be cute and sweet and i'm excited for that but um yeah we have this then i have some historical fictions of course so this one is called a mosaic of wings by kimberly duffy honestly i requested it because the cover is stunning that i uh, mm, requested it for review because it's a stunning cover no other reason that was probably not the best i think i read the synopsis and it was okay and i wanted it it is set and it doesn't even say what year it's set in but um nor shipley's I think that's how I said that Shipley has one goal to carry the legacy of her late father by taking over the scientific journal he started. Ooh. Um, so, yeah, she's taken seriously. Uh, she fought to be taken seriously among her male classmates. She graduated as Valley Victorian of Cornell's entomology program. Okay. She goes to India. Okay. She meets a guy named Owen Epps, who was a rival classmate. Okay. She got a best friend named Sita, who's a young Indian. Okay, so I'm really excited now that I'm looking at the synopsis. So this is set in India. I'm here for it. All the way. My question is, what year does this take place in? It doesn't say. Okay, here we go. It starts in Ithaca, New York, which I know about Ithaca, um, in 1885. So yes. And I, I love the butterflies thrown in here. There are literally butterflies, you guys. Like, just butterflies. So I am excited for this. So we have this, okay? Okay. Um, then we have this one, another book that I requested. I don't know. No, I didn't request this. I actually won this in a Goodreads giveaway. So I won this in a Goodreads giveaway. This is the congratulations card. Um, and it's A Woman of Sunlight. This is book two in the Brides of Hope Mountain um, by Mary Connolly. I don't know nothing about it. I just entered the Goodreads giveaway just for books. Um, but it did sound interested. It says, he's seen the entire country. She's never been off her mountain home. When danger comes, this unlikely couple will need to rely on each other. So I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit of like cute romance. Um, a little bit of like them arguing and stuff like that. So it's less than 300 pages. It's about 300 pages. Yeah. So I'm excited to dive into this. Hopefully I enjoy it and then I'll read the first book. But um, yeah, I did win this in a Goodreads giveaway. I definitely would recommend if you're looking for free Christian books, um, check out Get Goodreads. They have great uh, giveaways going on all the time. So I like this book cover though. It's really pretty. We have that. Um, and then the last one I have is The Socialite by this author. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to attempt. But this I received from, um, it was for a Instagram tour. It is from Thomas Nelson. Um, this came out on the 14th of April and this deals with espionage treachery um the neo-nazis I think it is right yeah the nazis uh resistance fighters it takes place in Paris it's just glamour treachery romance collide with an English socialite throws herself into the dangerous arms of a Nazi occupied Paris she basically goes to Paris to find her little sister and um yeah it sounds like it's gonna be epic and I just love this dress okay it's giving me all the vibes like the vibes the socialite vibes I'm loving it um that was a little extra <laughs> but I'm excited to get into this um so yeah we have that so that is it for fiction okay now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna stack all this at right because we got too many books so let me just let me get a second, y'all, to stack my books over here and um, grab the other ones that I have. Okay, so the rest of these are going to be nonfiction, so bear with me. I'm going to fly through these. I'm not going to talk too much in depth about these books, but nonfiction. So the first one I got, um, I actually picked this up at Walmart. Like, I went to Walmart and picked it up myself because I wanted it. Um, and let's take this annoying sticker off. I will show you guys the price in a second, but let's just take that stick off because it's in, in my way. But I got the Becoming Journal. This is a guided journal for discovering your voice by Michelle Obama. This goes along with the book. I already had the book when it came out. My son's father bought it for me. I still have yet to read it. We're going to leave that there. I've been trying to read this book now for, for months. Um, so I got the journal, so hopefully, you know, it works. Um, I did look through the journal. It's really, really great. Um, it's definitely a guided journal. Each day there's a question or something to fill out, like what's your story and how have you learned to embrace it. Um, sometimes she'll have blank pages with like a quote next to it. You can just journal. Um, she has portions where you have to like do lists. So this one is like list five favorite uh, family dishes. I only got one pasta all day every day 
Um, I'm trying to look through. Here's one. List five changes you wish a civic leader would take on. Here's another one. Um, list 10 reasons you're special and a worthy person. So it's really all about you, um, about you, pretty much. A guided journal all about you, becoming you. Um, and yeah, I got that. So I'm excited to get this. And this was $13.98. Can you guys see that? $13.98 from Walmart. So I got it from Walmart. So I'm super, super excited to own it now. Maybe it'll push me to actually get through this. Now, mind you, I've already tabbed this book up to read in four days. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four days. But I... I I haven't picked it up so i'm not going to get to it in may so hopefully for my birthday month june i can get to it like asap so yeah but um we got the journal the next one i got now this was so exciting so i received now i know when i spoke to the author because someone has sent the author my video i can't remember and i'm so sorry um but they sent the author my review of this book here which is a, the uh woman's guide to spiritual warfare by quinn share and ruthann garlic uh garlock excuse me I thoroughly enjoy this you guys you guys know I raved about it I think I still have the video up I'll leave it linked you can go watch that um but it's so amazing this book is inspiring you guys see the tabs right okay so the author actually contacted me and told me that they were working on another book um and then I hadn't heard anything for a minute from them but I got an email from who is this from from Chosen which is um from Baker Publishing but Be Bethany Rebel all that is under Baker Publishing but they have different like uh different groups i guess so got an email from them about the release of the newest book and i was like yes i want to review it like yes i need it because i love the first book and i got it and you guys cannot tell me they are not stunning so this one is um warfare prayers for women securing god's victory in your life and it has the same little cute crown on it and i love the color scheme and i'm so excited to own it and i'm like <laughs> so um it, it's it's broken into a few parts so the first part is praying with power Praying against hindrance is the second part. Part three is praying for life milestones. Um, and they go into depth with like the different prayers in here. Pray, oh, they got one for praying for mother-in-laws, okay. They got part four, which is praying for children and grandchildren. Part five is praying for family and friends. Part six is praying when single. That's interesting. That is good. Okay. Praying when you're single. Um, part seven is praying through tough times. Part eight is praying in your senior years. Part 9 is praying for your community and your nation. Part 10 is important prayer helps. And then part 11 is scriptures for intercession and warfare. So I am excited, you guys. I'm excited. And the way it is, is they give you the prayer and some scriptures to support that. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to own it. I'm excited to dive in because I love the first book. So I have it. Love it. We're good. Okay, so then I have this from um, Discovery House, and I'll leave a link down below. Oh, sorry, I'm going to the books. I'll leave a link down below, but this is Trusting God in Hard Times, Lesson from the Life of Elijah by Bill Crowder. I have another one from him, which I think is on Lessons Learn Lessons You Learn from Job. This one is on Elijah, and um, I'm excited. They're really short reads, really thin. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below to discoveryseries.org. Um, you literally can go on there and purchase um they're free mind you they're free purchases so you don't have to pay any money it's zero dollars um and they ship it to you for free they're little booklets like this and stuff like that but again when you get those little booklets from um our daily bread fill them out they send you book they, they'll send their little devotionals and inside they'll have like these little slips of paper with an envelope fill them out they send you free stuff all the time and it's so great um and i'm excited to own something else from bill crowder so we have that from B H bloggers i got 90 days with the god who speaks it's a 90 day devotional um i love the little wi-fi symbol it is so stinking cute but um yeah i got a copy for myself and my mom some days it's one page some days it's two pages back and front um but they're pretty short they're devotionals uh they have questions i don't see that they have like specific scriptures but that is fine um they talk about God, of course, in here, but I wish they would have scriptures for each single devotional. But I mean, it, it's awesome. I'm excited to dive into this and I can't wait. I love devotionals. We know I have a problem with... If you guys want to see a devotional collection, let me know, okay? If you want the devotional collection, just say devotional collection, please. Literally, just write that in the comment section and I will do that, but it's going to be a long video. Just just know it'll be long, okay? All right, moving on. Also from B&H, I got Resuscitating Evangelism by Jordan Easley and Ernest Easley. Um, I got this. If you guys don't know, I am an ordained evangelist. I got ordained last year in August. It's almost been a year. I can't believe it. And um, I just thought it would be great for me to read this, con con you know, considering that I am an evangelist. Um, and we're all called to evangelize, of course, the gospel. But um, 
when you're ordained as an evangelist you're specifically gifted in that area of evangelism so um i thought this was interesting my mom got one and um it's basically asking is evangelism dead um when was the last time you shared your faith and you know here's the good news and stuff like that and it's amazing like it talks about peter's regrets um it talks about evangelism being your responsibility it goes it goes deep and i'm i'm super excited to really dive into this like this is definitely one of those books that i've gotten in a long time that i'm like i need to read asap and specifically because it deals with evangelism and i do that through youtube of course but um yeah i'm i'm excited for this i got my mom a copy as well so i'm excited to read this the next two books i got from the delilah box so i think this one was in my march box um so oh so yeah like flames in the night i got in my delilah box that's what it was so the like flames in the night by connie lynn cassette so this book came with this book in my march delilah box that's what it was um but i did receive multiple copies of that book but um this is by jen Hatmaker, and um it's of mess and moxie wrangling delight out of this wild and glorious life and it seemed like a fun read so i'm super super excited i love the color of the hardcover it's yellow we love we love so much so we have that i'm not gonna get deep into that um and then for april when i got daughter of cana i also received this one which is the bright life this is by jen wise it's 40 invitations to reclaim your energy for a full life i'm super excited to dive into this is set kind of like almost a devotional um and then she has these like cute little things where you can ask questions you can pray and then um little activities and stuff to do so that's super cute i like interactive books you guys know i love uh, when a christian nonfiction is interactive so we have that i think these last set of books were okay so now let's let's skip ahead so these three books i literally just got in the mail um so this is chosen it's appointed for favor and destined for greatness by michelle mclean walters we know how I feel about her. I enjoy her writing. Um, she is the author of the Anointing series. So she has Esther, Ruth, Deborah, Anna, Hannah. And she recently came out with Sarah. It released, but now it's like out of stock. But you can get the ebook of it um, if you want it. So I'm definitely going to get my physical copy of Sarah when it comes out. But this one is called Chosen. And um, yeah, it's appointed for favor and destined for greatness. Anything by her, I'm buying. So we have that. Another book from her is this pro The Prophetic Advantage, Be God's Mouthpiece to Transform Your World. Um, and yeah, it's it sounds like it's going to be a great read and I love the cover. So yeah, we have that. Um, this one is, provides a clear understanding of the biblical mandate and mission of a prophecy. Um, it outlined, out, outlines the function and focus that prophets should exhibit. It tackles the issues of prophetic operation and balance, and it gives 100 advantages that come to those who receive a revelation from God through the voice of prophecy, which um, is definitely something I want to read up on. So we have that. Um, and as for this, I'll read the back. It says, um, Chosen will show you how to be strengthened to stay on God's chosen path, to expose and overcome the attacks, hindrances, and ungodly mindsets that threaten your life. And to understand the inner workings of the chosen realm, where heaven meets earth and where supernatural coexists with the natural. So, yeah, we have those. I love her writing. We know this. So, I'm super excited for those. And then I have, finally, I've been having, I had my eye on this for a minute. When did this book come out? 2013. I think I heard about this book in 2015 and I've been interested in it since, interested in it since then. So, five years. Um, it's Tony Evans um, and Crystal Evans Hurst, which is his daughter, Kingdom Woman. Um, Crystal Evans Hurst is the sister of Priscilla Shire, and they're both daughters of Tony Evans, and they're the brother of Anthony Evans, who is a gospel singer. I love the entire Evans family. Okay? I do. But, um, yeah, this is Kingdom Woman. Uh, Tony Evans does have Kingdom Men out. Um, and there's also Kingdom Citizen, which I do own that. Um, it's a part of the Focus on Family series that they have going on. Um, go to FocusOnTheFamily.com. That's the website. Um, but, uh, yeah, it says be prepared to feel empowered. So it's basically just walking or living like the woman God, uh, has called you to be. Um, so I'm super, super excited about this. Super excited. Can't wait to dive into this. I've heard really great things about this book, like really great things. Um, so we had that. And then the last five books, you know, the last five books are books that I got because the pastor at my church mentioned it. He is a pastor of administration as well as a, a regular pastor, of course. But um, he told me about a few books and I got them. Why not? The first one, the first two are by John C. Maxwell. This first one is The Winning Attitude, Your Key to Personal Success. Um, and we have that. 
it also includes a personal uh, guide so it says you can enter the winning circle um so yeah we have this book here by john c maxwell and then we also have developing the leaders around you how to help others reach their full potential um, I then have this, which is the five dysfunctions of a team. It's a leadership fable written by Patrick L Lentz. Mm -mm, we're not even going that name right there. Yeah, um, we have that. So I'm excited for this. Really, really excited. So it talks about the fable and then the model. So we have that. Um, and then this one i'm super super like this is definitely up on my high, high on my list along with the resuscitating evangelism this is the 25 biblical laws of success powerful principles to transform your career in business william douglas and rubens this person there yep but um it's 25 biblical laws of success the cures for the seven sins that block success it talks about what solomon teaches in proverbs the mindset that encourages personal development 10 personal virtues coveted by the market and how to save money and success with harmony and balance in life and it sounds really good i'll just give you guys a few so they have like the laws concerning wisdom laws concerning um resilience the laws concerning relationships laws of personal growth um like there's a law of contentment i thought that was amazing then they have the seven cardinal sins against success which are haste um one of them is jealousy or covetousness the other one is sloth pride there's so many other things in here like i'm super this, this is another one high on my list to read um, and the last one I got was the one that he specifically told me to read. So those other four, he told between myself and my sister, who's also an evangelist. Not my actual, like, blood sister, but I call her my sister from church. Um, because we both work as administrative assistants for the church. Um, but this one he specifically told me about because I do run the social media for my church. I'm a, the team lead for social media. And this is called The Ministry of Branding, A Biblical Approach to Brand, to brand Building by Mike Martin. It is forwarded by um, Dr. Matthew L. Stevenson, the third who is is uh i guess one of the speakers or i think one of the leaders at all nations worships assembly i do love their music of course um so yeah we have that and it's all about branding i mean it goes through logos it goes through social media understanding the target and all of that and that's definitely stuff that i'm interested in learning more about marketing wise um if you guys don't know when i was in college i did uh do i did major in uh, fashion merchandise and retail marketing so i know a little bit about marketing and things like that so I got this book. This book was $35, though. Like, why? Can somebody explain why it was $35? No, seriously. $35. Luckily, my mom got it for me because I, I was not about to spend the cash on this book. I'm being real. $35 on this? How many pages is this book? 161 pages? Just no. No. Okay. But yeah. Um, that is it for my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this lots of books um yeah i like books hi but um yes if you want to see a review on anything specific just let me know in the comment section if you have any of these books let me know but um i think that is it i am done with this video thank you guys for watching reading commenting, subscribing if you are not subscribed to the family subscribe become a daughter or a son of increase and if you are subscribed click the bell to say notify and i'll see you guys in the next video bye